Hi, I'm Monica. I'm Nahela. I'm Courtney. Danielle. And we're all international baccalaureate students at George Moon Sixth Form. The reason why executive orders pay quitting representation in employment is because following thorough research into employment statistics in the United States, we have concluded that the gender pay gap is intensely stuck in a nation that ironically proclaims to advocate quality at all levels. When researching we discovered in 2015, female full-time workers made only 79 cents for every dollar earned by a man, a gender wage gap of 21%. We believe that women are equal, if not, the main breadwinner in four out of 10 families. We decided to look into three main fields, politics, science and technology, and finance. As a group, we decided to look for women in the US Congress. In 2016, 104 women held seats in the United States Congress, composing 19.4% of the 535 members. 20 women, which is 20% overall, served in the United States Senate, and 84 women served in the United States House of Representatives, which is only 19.3% overall. It ranks 98 for the percentage of women in its national legislature. It's in fact worsened since 1998, when it was placed at 59, and today there are only five female governors in the States. In the Nordic countries, by comparison, female politicians are exponentially flourishing. We have identified that the traditional factors still play out to those numbers, such as the household and childcare responsibilities women face. There is a continual underrepresentation that our executive order aims to obliterate, or at least a lesson. This is similar to the statistics in science and technology. Only 28% of the world's researchers are women, and in the US, women hold only 25% of STEM jobs particularly in engineering, where the ratio is 1 to 7 in the past decade. Most are likely to enter non-STEM sectors such as education and healthcare. This disproportionality is mainly down to the lack of female role models, gender prejudice and a not so family friendly flexibility in the sector, which may lead to women having to compromise between family and career. Pay gap shows disparity too, as for every dollar earned by a man in STEM, every woman earns 14 cents. Less. And even if that is a smaller figure than other ma major non-STEM jobs, it nonetheless proves that the gap still exists and is still relatively large. So in, in the financial sector, only 30% of advisors are women, even though studies consistently show that women outperform men in investing cali caliber and represent a huge potential value of global economic economy. Although women do make up half of the workforce, the figures are dramatically lower in leadership leadership roles, with a shocking 2% sitting at CEO positions. We are all very passionate about this executive order because as four individual women, we hope to be at the top of our fields in the future. We have further expanded on the details of this executive order in our supplementary 500 words, 